For a long time after its discovery, Pluto was celebrated as one of the nine planets of our solar system, alongside celestial giants like Earth and Saturn. However, astronomers later reclassified it as a dwarf planet, as it did not meet all the criteria to qualify as a full-fledged planet. Despite its demotion, Pluto continues to captivate the curiosity of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Recently, NASA released astonishing images of Pluto that have left everyone amazed. These incredible photos reveal intriguing details about the dwarf planet and offer crucial insights into its mysterious nature. Pluto's Discovery A Historic Moment in Astronomy In 1930, an American astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh, working at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona, made history with the discovery of Pluto. Using a 13-inch telescope, Tombaugh meticulously studied photographic plates in search of the ninth planet hypothesized by Percival Lowell, a renowned astronomer. Lowell had observed irregularities in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune and speculated that another planet's gravitational pull was responsible. Tombaugh spent countless hours comparing photographic plates using a blink comparator, a device that allowed him to rapidly switch between images to detect movement. His hard work paid off when he identified a tiny dot shifting against the backdrop of fixed stars. This moving point was Pluto, a discovery that captivated the world's attention. On March 13, 1930, the news was made public, marking the beginning of a new era in astronomy. Naming Pluto An eleven-year-old's contribution. Once Pluto was discovered, it needed a name. The honor of naming the celestial body went to Venetia Burney, an eleven-year-old English girl who suggested Pluto after the Roman god of the underworld. The name was fitting for a distant, icy world on the fringes of the solar system. Additionally, the first two letters of Pluto, P.L., served as a tribute to Percival Lowell, whose work had laid the foundation for the discovery. A mysterious world at the edge of the solar system. Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune's orbit populated by icy bodies and comets. It is about 3.6 billion miles from the Sun and roughly 4.67 billion miles from Earth at its farthest point. Despite its distance, Pluto has fascinated scientists with its unique characteristics. The dwarf planet has a diameter of about 1,400 miles, less than half the width of the United States and a thin atmosphere composed mostly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. This atmosphere expands and contracts as Pluto moves closer to and farther from the Sun during its elliptical orbit. Pluto's moons. A fascinating system. Pluto has five known moons. Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx. Each is named after mythological figures associated with the underworld. Charon, the largest moon, is about half the size of Pluto and is unique in its relationship with the dwarf planet. The two are tidally locked, meaning the same sides always face each other, creating a double planet system. Charon orbits Pluto at a distance of just 12,200 miles, much closer than our moon is to Earth. The other moons are much smaller and irregularly shaped, unlike Charon which is spherical. These moons likely formed from a collision between Pluto and another Kuiper Belt object early in the solar system's history. Early Images and Attempts to Explore Pluto The first photographic image of Pluto was captured in 1915 by astronomer Thomas Slipher at the Lowell Observatory, although it wasn't recognized as such until its official discovery in 1930. Over the decades, various efforts have been made to study Pluto, both remotely and up close. In the 1960s, aerospace engineer Gary Flandro proposed the Grand Tour mission, which aimed to visit the outer planets, including Pluto, using a rare planetary alignment. While this ambitious plan was not fully realized due to budget constraints, it paved the way for the Voyager missions launched in 1977. Unfortunately, neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 included Pluto in their trajectories. In 1978, Astronomer James W. Christie discovered Charon, Pluto's largest moon, using observations from the U.S. Naval Observatory. This discovery provided new insights into Pluto's system and fueled further interest in the distant dwarf planet. The Journey to Pluto New Horizons The quest to explore Pluto culminated in NASA's New Horizons mission, 
which launched in 2006. After a nine-year journey, New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto in July 2015, capturing breathtaking images and collecting valuable data. These images revealed Pluto's complex surface, featuring vast plains, towering mountains of water ice, and evidence of glacial activity. One of the most striking features was a heart-shaped region, informally named Tombo Regio, in honor of the planet's discoverer. New Horizons also provided detailed observations of Pluto's atmosphere, confirming that it is dynamic and constantly changing. The mission revealed that Pluto is a geologically active world, with features suggesting the presence of subsurface oceans and possible cryovolcanism. Pluto's Enduring Appeal Pluto may no longer be classified as a planet, but its allure remains undiminished. Its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union sparked debates that continue to this day. For many, Pluto symbolizes the spirit of exploration and discovery, a reminder of humanity's unending quest to understand the universe. The recent images and data from NASA have only deepened our fascination with Pluto. They remind us that even at the farthest reaches of our solar system, there are still mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As technology advances and new missions are planned, Pluto will undoubtedly remain a focus of scientific inquiry and a source of wonder for generations to come. In their relentless pursuit of exploration, NASA's efforts in the early 1990s laid the groundwork for a historic mission. When NASA began conceptualizing missions to Pluto, they encountered significant challenges in understanding this distant and mysterious world. One pressing issue was Pluto's extraordinarily long winters, during which the atmosphere freezes and falls as snow. To address this, NASA needed to design a spacecraft that was lightweight, fast, and powerful enough to reach Pluto's surface. Thus, the concept of Pluto 350 was born, with the number referring to the spacecraft's weight in kilograms. The team prioritized a lightweight design for direct travel to Pluto and relied on the Titan IV rocket for the launch. While the spacecraft was being developed, other instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope helped astronomers study Pluto. Hubble's first image of Pluto in 1994 provided a sharper view of its system, including its largest moon, Charon. By 1996, the telescope captured comprehensive surface images, revealing large-scale contrasts on Pluto and setting the stage for further exploration. In 2001, NASA initiated the groundbreaking New Frontiers program, aiming to conduct medium-scale missions to uncover the mysteries of various celestial bodies. The program's first major mission, New Horizons, was designed to study Pluto, its moons, and the Kuiper Belt. Led by planetary scientist Alan Stern, the mission involved collaboration with experts from Johns Hopkins University, the Southwest Research Institute, Ball Aerospace, and NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. On January 19, 2006, New Horizons launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Its primary goal was a flyby study of Pluto and its moons, capturing the first close-up images and data of these distant objects. Traveling through space at approximately 58,000 km per hour, the spacecraft was equipped with cutting-edge scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, plasma detectors, dust sensors, and a radio science experiment. These tools were crucial for analyzing Pluto's surface, atmosphere, and surrounding environment. During its journey, New Horizons conducted significant observations. In 2007, it used Jupiter's gravity to increase its speed and adjust its trajectory. Along the way, it gathered valuable data on asteroids and Kuiper Belt objects. On July 14, 2015, New Horizons made history by coming within 12,500 kilometers of Pluto, providing unprecedented insights into the dwarf planet. The spacecraft also studied Pluto's five moons, Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, revealing unique features such as ice mountains, frozen plains, and a blue-tinged atmosphere. Pluto's atmosphere, composed of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, expands when it approaches the sun and freezes into solid form as it moves away. Despite its thinness, Pluto's atmosphere is visually stunning, featuring a blue hue and multiple cloud layers. The surface, too, is extraordinary, 
showcasing mountains, valleys, craters, and unique geological formations like the heart-shaped region called Tombaugh Regio. This iconic feature, named after Clyde Tombaugh, Pluto's discoverer, includes a massive nitrogen ice glacier, Sputnik Planitia, on one side and rugged, cratered terrain on the other. After completing its primary mission, New Horizons ventured further into the Kuiper Belt. On January 1, 2019, it made a historic flyby of Arakoth, previously known as Ultima Thule, a trans-Neptunian object. This encounter revealed Arakoth's snowman-like shape, ancient water ice, and organic molecules, providing critical insights into the early solar system. Currently, New Horizons continues its journey, over 7 billion kilometers from the sun. It remains operational, communicating with Earth and contributing to our understanding of the cosmos. Scientists expect the spacecraft to remain active until at least the early 2030s, continuing to unveil the secrets of the outer solar system. Pluto, despite its small size, has proven to be a celestial treasure. Its dynamic environment includes nitrogen ice flows, vast plains and towering mountains. Features like Charon's reddish polar cap and Pluto's tholins, organic compounds formed under cosmic radiation, add to its allure. The heart-shaped Tombo Regio, with its contrasting regions of smooth ice and rugged terrain, plays a crucial role in Pluto's atmospheric cycles, showcasing the complexity and beauty of this distant world.